And the principal here says he thought there would be at least one case of COVID at some point during the school year, but he didn't think it would happen on day one, and he didn't think it would happen like this. This one was an egregious violation of the rules. The mayor of Attleboro not mincing words over the fact that a family sent their child to Attleboro High Monday, the first day of school, despite knowing the teenager had tested positive for COVID-19. We have a daily health checklist that we ask everybody to adhere to. Um, and if you're if, if you're in the testing protocol, uh, you shouldn't come to school. The student did not attend class on Tuesday, the day the school learned that the infected student had been in the building the day before. School and city leaders say there was nothing they could have done to prevent this. They say not only did the family fail, so did the reporting system that should have warned Attleboro of the positive test result. Typically, we're able to know within 24 hours if somebody has tested COVID positive because it gets reported to the State Department of Public Health. We use the state MAVEN system. Uh, for some strange reason, this one got through. Though there was an apparent delay with the reporting system, the contact tracing protocols worked, quickly identifying 30 students who were in close contact and are now in quarantine. If what they say will keep the virus from spreading is, is accurate and what we put in place is accurate, we'll see you know, that this hasn't spread to the other kids. And if that's the case, I think, you know, hopefully families and, and staff members can feel, you know, even safer. School officials say the infected student is doing well, but for privacy reasons, they can't say much more than that. Reporting live in Attleboro, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.